We jumped at USA Speedway at the end of our 2005 season. It was what we closed at. It was the first time I ever jumped off a ramp that high. Um, so we had a six and a half foot high takeoff ramp with a pipe ramp on top of it. And we just had no idea what we were gonna end up with. When we hit the pipe ramp, the spiral was so intense, it felt like it was trying to pull me out of the window. It was spinning so fast. We made it to the cars. I actually hit it at the very far end of the cars, which was totally opposite of where I thought I was going to end up. And it, when it hit on its trunk, it immediately went over to its front end. And that hit into the cars. It must have separated some of the cars a little bit. The second it hit the ground, it split my sternum from top to bottom and I bit through a pretty good portion of my tongue. As soon as I got out of the car, I threw my hands up in the air, I was waving to the crowd, I felt pretty good. And then probably literally 20 steps after I was away from the car, I could feel my chest starting to lock up and I couldn't get my hands over my head. That night when I went to, uh, I took a shower, I had to squirt shampoo on the wall and rub my head up against the wall to get my hair clean because I couldn't lift my hands over my head. I knew I was going to be doing this pipe ramp again in St. Louis. To think that I'm going to have to do it again on that scale in four months is terrifying.